Hi, this is Park Madden at the Weather Store in Sandwich, Mass. Today I'd like to talk about how to tell if your barometer is working. A common question that I get for people, whether they're bringing in a barometer or they're calling me over the phone about a barometer, is they're concerned that it's not working. Now there's a couple easy tests you can do to determine if in fact it's working. The easiest test that I like to tell people is to simply insert a screw into the back of the barometer. Now on this barometer here, you can see there's a hole right there. And if you look inside, there is a little screw, put a tiny screwdriver in there and make a quarter turn. By making that quarter turn, you should see the needle move. By the way, that screw hole is also the adjustment and calibration screw that you use to uh, make an adjustment on the barometer. Another easy test to do is to simply tap it a couple times like this. And this is a common procedure that you do whenever you read a barometer. If you see a little bit of movement in it, chances are good that it's working as, as intended. Another test I like to do is simply, I kind of, kind of spin it a little bit like I'm doing here. And by doing that, you should be able to see that that black needle has a little springiness in it. That's telling me that there is a springiness between the uh, aneroid chamber and through the, the spring that opposes it, the Gearson chamber, that the mechanism is moving freely as intended. If you find that it's the needle's way down at the bottom and it's not moving during any of these things, it's probably locked up in some manner or form. There could be a piece of linkage that's out of place. And in that case, certainly give me a call and we'll, we can talk about what to do next. Lastly, and one of the best ways to test uh, the effectiveness or uh, the functionality of a barometer is to take the barometer and place it into a Ziploc bag. Fill the bag with air and then seal it off. Place it in such a way so that you can see the dial or the, the needle on the barometer and slowly press down on the bag so it feels kind of tight like you're compressing. You should see the needle of the barometer increase because by squeezing you are in effect increasing the pressure as you let off, you should see that needle come back. It's a great way to test it, but not everyone when you're out on the road and you're looking at barometers has a bag on hand. If I'm in an antique shop or someone brings in a barometer, my easiest test is just to use a small screwdriver. So I hope that these tests can help you out, maybe give you some reassurance that your barometer is working. Remember, a lot of times the air pressure doesn't change all that much. You can go sometimes days without a significant change in weather or air pressure, yet you might see some clouds or some rain. That doesn't always correspond to a change in a barometric pressure. So, and those are sometimes a lot of the reasons that people call me claiming that the barometer isn't working. Again, I hope that you can try these tests at home. They're very simple to do. But if you have further questions or you, you know for a fact that your barometer needs work, please give us a call. We do do repairs and calibrations and servicing on barometers. We can be reached through our website at theweatherstore.com or we're at 146 Main Street in Sandwich, Massachusetts. Thanks again for watching.